we can, yeah, most of the brush techniques in this game are circles. It's not very complicated, but yeah, drawing a circle on the water instead of the sky or on a tree will create a lily pad. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Yeah, Eason, I know. I know, okay? God damn it. Eh, for first time players, I guess. Wait, what's with the yellow? Uh, what's with what's with the yellow mark I don't know what that is um maybe that's the maybe that's the bomb house I don't know old peppy self yeah have a lot of work to do. God, cherry blossoms are so pretty. Okay. And what do we get for our troubles? Oh, sweet! That was actually worth it. I was expecting a straight bead. Okay, one more solar fragment. We have another, uh... We have another thing of health. Okay, but before we do that, I just want to quickly go around town to see if any of the townsfolk have anything worthwhile to say. Hey. Maybe I'll climb up. That's dangerous. I'm sorry, doggy. Did not mean to do that. Hey. The tug's wagging his tail. It's awesome. What do you have to say, Coochie? Mr. Orange has to work! Oh, festival. Neat. Okay. Uh, and I think just one more, one more villager. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. We finally, uh, we. <laughs> God damn it, Amy. Uh, we finally, uh. We've completely healed Kamiki Village, so that's awesome. It only took three hours. It's three and a half hours! Holy crap. Okay, well, let's see if the merchant has anything new to sell. Because I know we have some, uh, something to sell for ourselves. The base. And is there anything else to buy? There is not. Okay. Uh, can we sell any of them? Oh, we can sell a vengeance slip. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, cool. Okay, let's, uh, head back into the field. Holy crap, we are finally done Kamiki Village. It's, it's a miracle, but it's true. Uh, we are finally done with Kamiki Village, and now we can actually move on to, uh... Where are we going again? <laughs> we're going to the, uh, we're going to use our new lily pad power to get across that river up at this side of the map. But before we do that, we're going to quickly stop by that explosion house. And uh, we are going to wait till it's nighttime because there's something we can do there. Love the fact that there's no fall damage, by the way. You, you can jump from the tallest, tallest point in the game and, like, there's no penalty for doing so, so really cool. And now we just gotta have run around like an idiot until night falls. Which hopefully will be any second. Hopefully. Come on. It's kind of annoying because because we can only summon the sun, but we can't summon night, so if you accidentally screw up like I did and make it day when you're not supposed to, then... And you have to wait like an idiot. There we go! Oh, crap! Um, yeah, definitely one thing about night is there are more monster scrolls uh, roaming around. Definitely. And... Okay, I, I thought I saw a devil gate in the background, but no, it's just my imagination. Okay, now this house is open. Uh... 
dude. Fire. Uh, what's up? Sound within the matter? Little wisp. What's up? The flaming pyro, hard word to say. Technist. He has a bomb. He has a wick on his head. Um, dinger of a doozy. Midnight Wonder Boy. <laughs> bombs! Bombs! More bombs! Okay, and... If you didn't see it on the wall, uh, that it's a new brush technique that we can draw, and this is one of the most finicky in the game, unless you know the secret to it. Uh, you're supposed to do this, and then a wick, like that, but that doesn't work. What you have to do is draw a circle, and then let go of A, and then draw the wick. But yeah, you have to let go of A to draw the wick. You can't draw the wick in one motion, it doesn't work like that. Cool. So yeah, this feels like it's kind of like a, an optional power, but I'm positive that it isn't. I'm positive that you need to get this, so I wonder when the game would have forced you. I'm guessing that a little bit down the river, there's a wall that you can't open, and then you see like, why don't we check out the bomb shop? Also, what the... <laughs> These brush gods get more and more ridiculous. <laughs> God of explosive force. <laughs> Michael Bay has like a giant mural of this pig on his wall. <laughs> yep. Ch -ch -ch Cherry bomb. No. Okay, and yeah, we can use these cherry bombs now to destroy cracked walls. Boom. There you go. What destructive technique! And you can use it in combat, but it it's kind of hard because, you know, it has a fuse to it. But I think actually if you power slash the bomb, I think it explodes right away, so... Uh, I'll try that out. Okay, uh, before we head down the river, though, there is one more croc. Here. Well, let, let's try out our new technique. Aw, oh, seriously? The cherry bomb just up and died. That's a shame. Come on. There we go. I one-shotted him? Holy crap. That That is one thing. If you spawn the bomb on top of an enemy, like this, uh, I knew that wouldn't work. Like this, it explodes automatically. And screw you. Yeah. Wow, so the cherry bomb is actually more useful than I thought, because I forgot about the whole contact explosion. That's awesome. 
Okay, before we head up the river, I want to go quickly down the hill to the right because there's actually a, uh... Whoa, wait, wait, whoa, 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 the postman, postman. Hey, postman. Get the fuck back here, dude. Before the scroll does. Hey. Uh, there is a side quest we can do for this guy, but I'm not sure if he can, he wants to do it at night. Okay, I'm guessing that he doesn't want to do the side quest at night. Eh, okay then. We'll leave him alone. Again, I'm, I'm not going to worry about side quests. Uh, out of the... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, where was that wall? There it is. Have a bomb, why don't you? Exorcism slip. You're never going to use that, so we'll just sell it for money. So we just got 5,000 gold. Wait, I don't think it sells for 5,000. Why don't you leave an offering? It's a shame I don't know how. Damn it, Eason. Why you you explain everything with such excruciating detail? Okay, <laughs> let's try that. Let's try that again with 100% less interruptions. Eason explains everything with excruciating detail in this game, but the one thing that I want to know about whatever the hell he means by offerings, he refuses to explain. So, thanks, game. You're the best. Really? One more correct well before we'll head down the river. Uh, oh, it's just a chest. Cool. Coral dragon. More money. Okay. And using our new lily pad power, we draw a circle on the water, and there you go. And we'll just make our way down the river. And for the only that we had a way to move the lily pads, this wouldn't be this much nearly of a hassle. Oh well. Uh, oh, there you go. There's the cracked wall. So you cannot do that. Oh, cool. Let's stay. Not that it matters, because we are leaving Shinshu Plains into the next area. Aww. The pressing music is back. Okay, so... Next. Um. I, I wouldn't say this is an overworld. I'm pretty sure there's. The, the overworld is Shinshu Plains, but this is another big area. I got a forest. And yeah, it's cursed right now, so that's depressing. Are there any new enemies here? There are not any new enemies here. Just the drummer guy and uh, those two red guys again. Well, let's see if we can find anything around here. No, it's... it's cursed. <laughs> uh, let's just get on with it then. What's in here? Yeah. And what the hell is this? And n not even joking, like... I'm, I'm legitimately curious. I don't. I don't remember what this is. I spawned the bomb in the water. Cool. I have a feeling that you can't use bomb to explode this. And that's cool that it has a fireworks explosion. Oh, screw it. Fine. Ah, really want to put these out. Ah, uh, we don't need to save right now. 